so let's see what we need to know we do have the chariot and the ace of wands so somebody is passionate about you like there is no tomorrow and charging forward of course can be a cancer but that is no doubt they are attracted to you uh that is sensuality playfulness sexuality a desire sometimes i say in my soulmate readings i have a wand for you but we don't all need a wand uh, so so they might have something else for you by the way <laughs> But definitely passionate, definitely passionate. Nine of Swords in reverse, right? They are a little bit stressed and they are trying to gain control over by moving towards you, by taking action, right? Confirming, bringing this connection to the next level. The Chariot and the Fool, a leap of faith, a renewal. Um, this is, let's take a chance, let's jump, let's take a risk. Uh, connection doesn't have to be safe. And Five of Swords conflict might have been a conflict maybe they are struggling maybe you are and your energy shows up it's like oh, i don't know i need to uh, deeply think about it. and nine of swords again and that's how we know we stop shuffling the nine of swords in reverse again and um peace of mind somebody is and wants to take action in the second half of february um because they are kind of um you know worried that that it might not happen um, so bottom of the deck, the most important energy of this time, we do have the three of wands in, in reverse and it is a lot of impatience, three of cups. It, reconciliation now, you know, that's kind of the energy. Um, the three of wands is like, no, I'm not waiting for, I don't wait for things to happen, I make them happen. And reconciliation, happiness coming together, um, going out. So past energy is on your side, Aries, the person you are dealing with and mutual. And of course, you know by now that you take only what resonates. You take the side you resonate the most with. Even if I say left for the zodiac sign, right for um, the person they are dealing with. So possible outcome is you always have free will and you always have to use your better judgment. Bottom of the deck, strength. Somebody feels strongly about you, Aries, can also be a Leo energy, but boy, there is so much happiness and so much impatience, uh, impatient to share happiness with you. Uh, but on their best behavior, right? Strength. So what happened in the past? Three of Swords and the Nine of Wands. Um, a lot of pain they created. They gave us a heartbreak over there. And... Um, I kind of feel this is the recent past because we also have the Nine of Wands, right? We had our guard up and um, <clears throat> actually we didn't have one and now we do. Um, Nine of Wands is really in reverse. is like finally trusting someone and then the result of it or the consequence of it or, uh, you know, it, it, it happened, right? They uh, won our trust and, and then... Um, definitely disappointed you and a lot of uh, swords and wands ones are your energy but three of swords i mean right now this person of yours um page of pentacles in reverse and the death so it has this energy of they had an offer for you but they also had unfinished business um a closure to happen a chapter of some sort to make it walk away uh, maybe they had to finish something uh before they were fully um you know uh, available for you and mutual energies the sun and the five of pentacles in reverse it's not that they didn't want right this is the energy of you make me happy um so they made you happy and you made them happy but then five of pentacles rejection had to happen because somebody ended a connection in a in a way that was not fully um completed and i kind of feel that somebody had to uh, walk away uh, back off more than walking away um might have been a real connection or it felt like one or might have been something that you know took off just a bit and then um you know somebody had some uh, things to deal with um that's what i feel so where are we right now we do have the knight of pentacles in reverse and the four of cups in reverse we are a little bit discontent a little bit bored a little bit stuck a little bit stuck right <laughs> Um, Taurus will go to Capricorn energy, but it has this energy of um, your attention being distributed, um, um, spread thin. That's energy I'm picking up. 
Um, and because of it, right, we don't know exactly which way to go. We might not be paying attention to the thing that we need to do right now or we need to understand, um, you know, the next steps. I kind of feel again, four of cups, right? We are. It's not that we see the world around us. We are just um, focused on one little tiny thing from the past. And that's um, how we are um, Knight of Pentacles in reverse. We are not moving at all. Uh, we don't have a strategy, right? Because we are in um, in an emotional state, and even that, right? Not from a uh, from the purpose of disconnecting, but more of looking at, at things. So now, this person of yours, Temperance in Reverse. Um, this is Sagittarius energy and the Knight of Swords in Reverse. Uh, I mean, all over the place as well. <laughs> uh, temperance in Reverse is not healing, not aligning. Not wanting to compromise either, but in the same time, they are stuck in the same BS, right? With the Knight of Swords in reverse, right? They are stuck in a chapter that uh, was not closed properly. Um, uh, dragging luggage, it's a strong message here. And um, and confused and impatient, and uh, but not having a plan um, as well. Mutual energies between the two of you, the Emperor in reverse and the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. So because the Emperor is upside down, the whole situation is upside down, right? And that's your energy, so we don't feel comfortable. This is the current energy, right? We are not that happy. Um, I would say with the state of affairs, and because of it, we don't see the lucky in it, right? We don't see the luck, of course, but the lucky situation, right? The lucky outcome. Um... And um, it has um, Aries, a strong energy of us preventing the world to move on, but not the world. Uh, but in a sense, the flow of your own world, um, you know. And probably we don't have a plan just yet. The Emperor is like in reverse, in, you know. Um, and at the core of the reading kind of speaks of we need a plan, we need to organize a little bit, we need to get into the flow because we are blocking something here. And uh, we are focusing on things of little importance, right? So um, not leading um, somewhere um, uh, purposeful, I would say. So let's see the outcome of it. We do have the Knight of Wands, which is your energy, and the Sun in reverse. Maybe a Leo you are dealing with. And honestly, we have the Sun twice and the Strength. So that is a Leo, or maybe you have Leo in your chart. Um, but there is a... Um, a strong energy of if we don't do something about we might end up fully unhappy right and it has this energy of snapping out because we have you emperor in reverse we have the knight of wands in reverse if you have leo in it in your chart it is in reverse so we need to snap out of something here um and pay attention and be passionate and be strong about and this person of yours, Five of Wands, Upright, and the Ten of Wands in Reverse. This is your energy. If you are dealing with um, any other sign, they, you have your energy all over them. But they are so conflicted, right? So conflicted, so confused, uh, burdened by by all this, unstable, Ten of, um, ten of Wands. It's wheels in, in this deck, right? Um, so unstable and, and like trying to figure out. And mutual energies between the two of you, Page of Pentacles in reverse, and the Temperance again. Might be an early Sagittarius type of energy, or you have Sagittarius, but um, yeah, Temperance in reverse. We are not there just yet. And the Page of Pentacles, right? An offering is kind of difficult for this person because they are still recovering big time. Um, but hey, there is no doubt, both of you, you want reconciliation, overall energy, three of wands, impatience to reconcile and yet taming yourself and staying strong, them taming themselves and just, you know, staying put for a while. I'm not seeing love, um, Aries, I'm seeing a lot of suffering, I'm seeing a desire to be happy and reconcile, but I'm not seeing love, in all honesty, right, in all honesty. Um, I'm seeing you really not paying, paying attention to what's important. 
So I feel we are bothered by details, um, Aries. So let's ask for some guidance, reparenting yourself. Uh, that is something about this connection that we need to unlearn and learn new patterns. Uh, this is a very deep, intimate energy of how we see love and life, um, how we do connections and love and relationships and commitment. And that is something that we need to um, take into consideration. We also have connection, and maybe some of you, the connection with your parents um, had a, an impact on you. And that is something that we need, again, to unlearn uh, about unlearn and then learn new things about connection and relationships so you are guided to forgive them you are guided to forgive them and you are guided to have fun bring fun back into your life and there is we have simple acts of kindness kindness energizes you and brings happiness to those around you and um Happiness and the rainbow reviver. I feel somebody forgot to have fun um, in this connection. And um, I don't feel you are guided. It was like a lesson. When I think of reparenting yourself, it's about learning. It's about lessons. It's about lessons about connection. Um, and, um, and what they brought into your life. And they brought a lot of pain. So now thank you. Let's have fun. Let's spread acts of kindness out there into the world. <clears throat> we do have reparenting yourself and surrender obsessive thinking, Aries. So if you're obsessing about a person or situation, turn the dilemma over to spirit. Doing so will help bring you clarity or even solve the problem. So that is something again, right, that we need to leave behind. That is no doubt thinking too much. And we are in thinking mode. Four of Cups in reverse. We are thinking but not about the important things. What else? We have surrender unhealthy relationships and it comes with a connection card. So kind of like the universe saying, you know, this connection was not good. Was not good. And, um, I, and you were dragged into this energy of obsessive thinking, right? So let go of relationships that don't serve you, including unavailable or toxic people. You deserve to be treasured by others and to be surrounded by positive people. Forgiveness and creative, right? When it comes to forgiving this person, I feel that like you are asked to stretch a little bit, right? Because it might not come in um, handy, might not be easy, and you, we have to be creative. So let your imagination soar. Stay open to all creative ideas about how to pursue a dream or solve a problem. And we have evolution, the rainbow reviver and evolution. Let's increase the fun, right? So you realize that obstacles are merely lessons on your path of love and bottom of the deck surrender your belief in scarcity. So the universe is asking you, um, to open to the infinite nature of abundance. In this way, you can remove blocks in your life and succeed beyond your wildest dreams. Um, so no to obsessive thinking, no to obsessive relationships. Let's forgive them and evolve from it. And um, if you are bound to them because of money, right? Somebody here feels financially insecure. Guess what? You don't need to. Universe will provide. And... Um, Aries, I feel that we need to tame this reconciliation. If this is you wanting them, the universe is showing you so many red flags, right? So, no thank you. Um, so, Aries, this is all that I have for you guys. You know I love you. I wish you nothing but the best. I want you to stay strong and safe. And come see me next time. Love you. Take care.